Oh, man, he's one of our favorites, and we just discovered is celebrating a birthday today. Phil Nevin joining us on the Tuesday Show. Happy birthday, Nev. Happy birthday, Phil. Hey, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. The big 5-0. The big 5-0, man. That's amazing. You look great, by the way. Thanks. I all, all of my, I have highlights out there somewhere. Of all of my stuff, that's what you guys came up with? No, oh, we, we got, got highlights. We got better don't, stuff. Don't worry about it. We, we just wanted, to, we wanted right, to bring right. you on with that. Hey, um, are you playing a lot of golf these days, or do you just go down there to socialize? I know you're down there at the Diamond uh, Events International uh, Tournament as well. Yeah. Well, I mean, the socializing, obviously, and you guys know the, the guys that are here and some of your friends and all of ours. Uh, that's that's obviously one of the highlights of being down here is seeing the guys and, and all the people involved. But yeah, we take it serious. It's um, you know, it, it's, it's fun to have this kind of competition again. Uh, you get to feel like a you know, you talk to pro golfers. They all want to be pro baseball players and baseball players all want to be golfers. And we get to be pro golfers for a week, basically. Uh, you know, the fans, although it's cut down this year, it's it's a great uh, tournament. It's a great event. It's a a lot of fun uh, and, and for a great cause. We've, we've raised uh, several million dollars for the children's hospitals of of Orlando here. And, uh, you know, just some great people involved. And it's, it's a really, it's something I look forward to every year. What handicap are you rolling in there with this year? Where are you at? Uh, I'm, I think right at a zero about that. I played well yesterday. It's for me, it's like, I'll have a good couple days and then I have one big blow up day that kind of cost me some spots on the leaderboard here. But uh, like I said, it's all a lot of fun. You, I'll try to be a little more consistent. Par's your friend. I'm, I'm learning that. It's taken seven or eight years of being <laughs> in this, but got to make a lot of pars. Hey, have you ever <laughs> gone to one of these things, Phil, whether it's uh, this event or another one where uh, another celebrity player shows up and it's a guy that you fought with or a guy that you hated on the field? Have you, has that ever happened to you? Like, I'm thinking of Pierzynski. <laughs> A.J. Pierzynski's down there. He shows up, and, you know, he wasn't exactly Mr. Popularity when he played. Yeah, well, you know, I was probably one of those players, too. So, uh, <laughs> A.J. and I are, have always been pretty good buddies from the from the beginning. When we start, You know, I'll tell you, it, 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 we did one in Pebble Beach about 15, 16 years ago, and and to be honest, Millar and I were, were not good friends. I, <laughs> there was, I don't know if something happened on the field or, and I, I avoided him. I, I just didn't want to be around him. Everybody said, no, nah, he's a good dude. You got to get to know him. I'm like, nah, you know, I'm good. I want to keep, sometimes you just want to keep your own opinions of people. But, you know, through the years, we, we got to mingling a little bit and hanging out. And as you guys know, I mean, we've become very, very close friends. I was at his house last week. My son goes to college just an hour up the road from him at Baylor University. And we spent a lot of time together. Kyle's down at his house a lot. And uh, so I guess to answer your question, there it is. There it uh, is. You're Millar. Um, but, but getting to know a lot of guys that, you know, you, you appreciated and respected from across the field and not really getting to, to know guys in this situation and hang out with them, play golf with, uh, you know, it's, it's been a lot of fun over the years. And especially as we've all been retired and we're getting older and, you know, we all seem to get better and better too our, from our playing days. So, uh, so that's, that's the fun part. <laughs> well, too. Phil, uh, getting better and better. You were number one overall out of college at Cal State Fullerton. So today's your birthday. We do have some good highlights of you. Yeah. That we're going to roll because you were <laughs> a heck of a player. And, you know, when you get older, people forget. So, Matt, take over, man, with some of this highlight. Well, what I remember most about Phil as a player is that I don't recall a guy, a right-handed hitter with such prolific opposite field power in his day. Sure, there have been guys that could hit the other way for power, but Phil, during those days, late yeah. 90s, early 2000s, best in the business and playing in big ballparks, too. He could match. San Diego was huge. That was a big ballpark, but I remember him in college. And when you're number one overall and you go to the College World Series and you're that guy that has a target on his back, he delivered. I mean, he was one of the best college players in his so, so the question, Phil, Amazing. is for you as a first-round pick, 1-1 one, one in 92, versus the guys that go 1-1 one, one right now, how different is the landscape? Is the pressure more for a kid going now? Are the resources better for a kid that goes 1-1 one, one now? Talk about the difference. Okay, you can do the next one. Yeah, uh, I mean a lot in in that question. The resources certainly are uh, are better, um, but I think there's probably more pressure on the guys nowadays, uh, just from social media and what our uh, you know baseball network now. We got there's a lot more coverage of baseball, which is great. 
Um, but I think these kids are a little more, uh, they're probably more well prepared. That's not very good English, I don't think, but uh, they're, they're, they're very well prepared for what's ahead of them. Um, you know, I think they're well coached uh, in a lot of ways, both on and off the field, you know, through college, through high school. Uh, what you forget is, you know, all these guys nowadays are playing travel ball. They're playing on different teams. They're used to playing with different uh, coaching, coaches and coaching staffs and different players almost each week. Um, not to mention the, the centers that they have to go to, uh, whether it's, you know, learning on all the new technology we have, the drive lines, the rap sodos and, and all the hitting schools and pitching schools. Uh, so we in turn have had to be a little more progressive in that, uh, as far as baseball goes at the pro level. Uh, cause I, I take, like I said, I took my son to college last week and you, and you walk into the, the pitching center at Baylor and it's, it's like nothing you've ever seen. Uh, you know, the hitting center, uh, everything is graded. Everything is, is tracked and everything is mapped and they know when they're getting better. Uh, so we got to have that in pro ball and I, you know, each organization has now adopted a lot of things, but you know, to be honest with you, a professional baseball was probably a little bit behind what, you know, uh, for certain, a lot of the colleges, uh, definitely a lot of the high schools, um, you know, and it's just how these kids are learning. So we have to adapt to that as well. Well, Phil, one, you know, the one, best part about things... a lot of those, uh, best part about a lot of those highlights you were showing and you didn't have the volume on those are Matty V on the call of those when he, we were together with the Padres for many years and some good times between the two of us for, for, for sure. Good no times. doubt. Hey, I, I, before we let you go, uh, obviously you're coaching third base, at the Yankees, you've, you've applied for a couple different interviews. I should say for other managerial jobs, you want to manage in the big leagues, right? I mean, this, I, I think you're ready, especially with all the information you've been able to gather and learn through the years. Would you like to manage in the big leagues? This is uh, your Well, chance. I mean, I, don't, I think that's, you know, people, uh, that's been well known. I, I certainly do, uh, but I love where I'm at. You know, I, I'm not going to say that uh, the luster hasn't been taken off of that, I, I, but I certainly love where I am. Um, you know, I get to work with one of my best friends in the world since we were kids. Uh, that that relationship's grown quite a bit over the last few years with Booney, um, and being a being a Yankee and and coming to that ballpark every day and, and having a chance to win a World Series every year, uh, it's something that you know I love doing. I, I literally I love going to work every day and with the people I do. Um, but certainly, yeah, I, I mean I don't think it's been a secret. I, I would like to have that opportunity. Um, it's, you know, when I started doing this 10, 12 years ago, that was a goal of mine. I'm not going to say that that is not still, but I, I think it's, uh, the right place it would have to be, you know, it would have to be in the right place. Um, but those are things we talk about when jobs are open, there's none right now. Um, you know, and we'll, we'll attack this season with, a, with the, the goal and winning a World Series in Yankee Stadium. And, and, you know, it's like we do every year, and we'll worry about those things in the offseason. All right, man. Hit, hit him straight this weekend. Happy birthday, Neff. Thanks for coming on with us, man. And Happy tell, birthday, Phil. Tell, right, tell D-Row to, uh, you know, tell D-Row to just keep it in check. My wife smoke, yeah, so that all makes me, me out, smoke. Out to dinner tonight. <laughs> they're all taking me out to dinner tonight for my birthday, so it'll be, it'll be a fun night. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. No one's going to have fun in that group. <laughs> oh, All right, Phil, thanks, man. <laughs>